Hi everyone and welcome to episode two of Curtain Calls Behind the Scenes at BIM House. We're here with Jazz Orchestra of the Concert Cabal and today I'm introducing you to some key players in this magnificent orchestra. We made it into the actual venue, into the room at BIM House, and here I am with one of the co-founders of the Jazz Orchestra of the Concertgebouw, Frans van Geest. Hi Frans, how nice to see you. Nice to see you too. So you are the co-founder of this orchestra. Uh, how, long, how long ago was that? Can you tell me a little bit more about um, that? I was playing bass, I was playing in a Dutch group with, uh, with Madeleine Bell, a singer, and Fritz Landesberg, a vibraphone player. And it was actually a very nice group. And one of the piano players was Hank Moitgeert. And uh, I formed within the rhythm section with Hans Decker, the drummer. And it was, we were, yeah, we were young and we were playing nice. We were playing every, every evening with a lot of energy. And Hank liked it very much. And we knew, I knew that Hank had a big band. And uh, so one of my, my it, it, it seemed a dream for me that, that he could build up a big band again with the help of us. And I said, man, you have to do it. And he said, no, 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 it's much too, it's much too much work for me. And uh, okay, and then finally he said, I do it, but you have to organize it. And then I said, okay. Nah. So I was, uh, I was calling everybody I knew. And it was actually, uh, we formed the big band together with a lot of people from the, from the Hilfsen Conservatory, where I was studying. So that's about uh, 26 years ago, I guess. I am here with star piano player Peter Bates. Peter, so nice to see you today. Thank you, and likewise. <laughs> so what are, we, what are we doing here? Why are we at BIM House today? Um, I'm doing an interview with, oh, with you, yeah. <laughs> well, we're playing uh, with the Jazz Orchestra of the Concertgebouw, um, Amsterdam-based. This is the Amsterdam, the biggest, most beautiful club in Holland, and uh, I think, um, it should maybe get a prize for one of the most beautiful jazz clubs in the world. The BIM House is, for, of course, very famous. We're going to play uh, five pieces, it's a streaming, uh, five pieces uh, arranged <coughs> for a big band by Jim McNeely. He's a piano player and a, a great one. And I was already a big fan of him when, he was, when I was very small. I still remember that I had a cassette tape that I was turning over and over again to hear that swing and the natural, organic, playing of uh, Jim McNeely on the piano. And I think that's the biggest, I mean, <clears throat> I'm a big fan of his arrangements as, of, as well. And the biggest, uh, I think, feature of these arrangements and the biggest difference with other arrangers, many of other arrangements that also go like maybe more artistically, less traditional, which I also love. I, I mean, I love both um, progressive music and also the traditional music. I like to combine those, entertainment and artistry. But the way Jim McNeely writes, it's so organic. Well, but mostly it's uh, the rhythmic way he writes for trombones. Yeah, and also, you can hear it. he's a great piano player. You can hear that in these. But he's also an arranger and composer, and he's composed uh, pieces for the Jazz Orchestra of the Concertgebouw specifically. What is this concert going to be like? Today, I think it's more stuff that he already had written a little bit earlier for the Vanguard Jazz Orchestra. Uh, yeah, we play off the cuff, that's my solo and I'm happy about it because this is based on a standard and a jazz standard is called It's You or No One and we all know. Mm. Oh, et cetera, second, anyway, uh, 
he made something completely different than what I just played now. Eh? But I'm saying is that's what it's based on. And I love to uh, be free and to uh, do all kinds of weird stuff, whatever I feel on the moment, based on something like this. It's a framework. We're not playing this. We're doing everything but this, but it's based on it. <laughs> Simon, how great to see you again. It's been a while. See you again, long it's time ago. Yes. Um, so, you know, tell me, tell me a little bit about about your role in the orchestra because you're not the only saxophone player. No. But you are a soloist. Yeah, but most of the guys in the band are soloists. Eh? That makes this band so special. It's all eh? like most of them are extremely good soloists. Yeah. So it's also for me uh, really a pleasure and an honor to play with all these great uh, musicians. So yeah, I play on the first uh, tenor seat, mm -hmm. um, and um, uh, I play with my friends. Hey, like Marco Kegel has been my friend for so long. I think we met when I was 14 or something, or 13, and he was 15, 16. And Sjur Dijkhuis, I know for such a long time, and of course Peter Bates, the piano player. We are all good friends. Um, but with the saxophone section, you try to sound as one. Hey, you want to play really, want to play together, and that's about the details. And I practiced a lot with Marco uh, Kegel, like through the years. Before I was teaching, we were every Monday from 12 to 12, we were practicing and uh, listening to recordings and uh, having fun. And uh, so a lot of the stuff goes very or, uh, organic, in an mm -hmm. organic way. How, what's it like to uh, uh, take on such a big new project together? Uh, yeah, it's always a, a challenge eh, because it's also uh, quite difficult uh, music. So it's always the balance be between being very concentrated and being relaxed eh, to make it sound relaxed and, uh, and uh, fun. Um, so it's, uh, it's a real pleasure and now uh, Jim McNeil is going to write songs for our band eh, and I think that's a very special uh, thing. I mean, eh, he's sort of a legend, uh, Jim McNeely, so it's a big honor to, uh, to do something like this. Thanks for watching episode two of Curtain Calls Behind the Scenes at Bim House with Jazz Orchestra of the Concertgebouw here in Amsterdam. In the next episode, we will talk about conducting. What does that even mean? I don't know. Let's find out next week at 8 o'clock sharp. See you then.